Hi everyone, welcome to a tutorial with me. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to color a black and white image. This was of my grandparents' wedding back in 1949, so it's going to be quite interesting. I have done this before, I don't know if you've seen the actual picture itself. I'm going to do the groom first. Uh, I'm going to be saving him as selections and coloring him in. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to speed ahead just to shorten the tutorial just to make selections. I'll show you how to save a selection and to load a selection. So once I've done that, then I'll go through and color everything else uh, just to speed it up for you really. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unlock the background and I'm just going to duplicate it, pressing Control J. And now at the bottom layer here, layer zero, I'm going to put in its own group, Control and G. Close that and just name it main image just so it's out the way and I forget about it. There we go, just push the I and now it's gone. Now we can completely forget about it. We aren't touching it and let's carry on. So first thing, um, coloring pictures or photos uh, is you need to make lots of selections and we're gonna be using layer blending modes. We'll get to that in a bit. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select his uh, is uniform just quickly going around just using my click select quick selection tool you can use whichever one you prefer um, I find it's a lot faster this way for me it's not always as precise as you had wanted but it does do a pretty good job we'll go in and refine the edges in a minute so I'm just selecting all of them or what I think is going to be the same color because we're going to be doing it all separately all the different parts of him so okay we don't want his shoes in it because they're going to be a different color as well I'm just holding down alt when I'm clicking to cancel certain selections there whoops just smoothing it out so I'm not going to be doing this perfectly, I'm just going to be doing it fairly quickly just to get through the main gist of it so you actually understand how, how I'm doing it. But I will try and do it as best as I can. Okay, it looks all selected around there. Holding spacebar just to pan around. So we want to get rid of the hands just over here. I actually pointed at my screen there, silly me. Okay. Zoom in a little bit more. As you can see, it's not a great quality photo. I actually took this photo, took a photo of this photo with my phone and uploaded it. I didn't have much time to be scanning it in, unfortunately. So hopefully you've got a better quality one that you can work with. That's why I'm not going to be doing the eyes and everything. It's just going to, as you can see, they're very small there and not great detail. So I'm just going to leave them the color of the skin that I make. Okay, so we've pretty much selected his uniform there. Don't worry about these badges. We're just going to go in and deselect those when it creates a mask. Just want to get these finer bits up here. Okay. And I'm going to deselect the top and tie. You'll be amazed how easy this actually is. It's very time consuming though. And it's a lot of playing around with the different colors just to get the color that you, you want. Let's actually get rid of that bit there. Smooth it out a little bit. Right, so control and zero, I'm zooming out. I've got his whole uniform selected bar his shirt and shoes. Oh, there's a bit of a thing there, sorry. Let's just go there and Get rid of that. Select that. Okay, Con control zero, zooming out. And now in my original image, I had his uniform as like a kind of a khaki color. I was informed that it should be blue. So in this one, I'm going to make it blue. First thing you want to go to your adjustment panel just over here, and you want to select solid color. As you can see, that doesn't look great, but we will get to the blending modes. 
in a minute. I'm going to get a, a darker blue, just like that. That looks pretty good. Well, it doesn't look good, but it will look good. And the reason we're creating a colorful layer just over here is you can always go back, double click, and you can change the color to whatever you want. So we're working in a non-destructive way there, which is brilliant. Okay, now we have that done, we want to go to the um, the blend modes just over here. Um, you normally go between color and overlay, depending what what um, effect you're going to go for. Color is too bright for me, so I'm going to go down to overlay, and that looks pretty sweet over there. Next problem, it's too harsh. We don't want it that harsh. So now we're going to play with the opacity just up here. And I'm going to change it. A good estimate is between 30 and 20%. So just play around with it and get it right. Some of them you'll need to have more, some less. I'm going to keep mine at 30%. Right, so that's that part done. And you can see here we've made a layer mask. What we want to do is, let me just get to the right place. On the layer mask itself, you can see white is everything selected and black is everything deselected. So I want to get my brush tool. I'm just going to go in and the hardness 100%. That's great. And increase the size just a little bit to get these badges over here. We want to make sure our foreground color is black because we want to deselect it. So push D to make your foreground background uh, the default and X to make your foreground black. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and paint over. Make sure you have the layer mask selected and not the actual um, image itself. And I'm just going to go and paint over those. We'll color those a bit later if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But if you are doing this professionally, you will want to go and do every single detail. Very precisely. Doing the buttons and up here, get rid of that. Okay, so you can always go back and color those if you want. I'm not going to do it in this tutorial just to save a bit of time. Okay, now the next thing we want to do, let's go and do his. Let's do his tie first. Or yeah, well, let's name this layer. Let's name it as uniform. Okay. So let's do the white. I'll show you how to do the white. So you want to get back to your selection tool just up here. Quick selection. And select his shirt. So do the colors. And you're probably wondering, how how's he going to do a color adjustment on if it's white but don't worry about that we're going to for me it's a little trick some people do it differently there is no right or wrong way you always get to the same results okay that's pretty much all of it selected okay now, instead of creating a solid color for black and white, I normally go into levels. So you just go up to image, sorry, adjustments and levels. You can go this way if you want through adjustment layer. I just find it easier doing this. And then you just play around. The right slider is the white one. And the left one is your darker tones, which you don't really want to play with for white. But for black, we'll be going and playing with that. So just move the slider along until you think it's white enough and your preview so that's before that's after i haven't done it too too much but you don't want to overdo it really okay and let's do the blacks Control and d and selecting his tie actually let's do the tie and the hair at the same place same time sorry okay with this one what I will do 
is create a selection and use the adjustment layer just because his hair is in there and if you decide you want his hair to be a different color you can go in and just make that selection and change it okay something i was meant to show you earlier which i didn't do sorry saving your selections so i've selected his hair and his tie here let's just pretend it's the hair so we go to select and oops, sorry go down to save selection I'm going to name it hair. Okay. Hit enter and you can come back to that later. So a new adjustment layer. You're going to go to levels. And because it's the darks, we want to increase the darkness. Just like that. The lightness. If you want to play around with it, you can. I'm not going to. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the before and that's the after. So you can see the tie's a lot blacker. And his hair is a nice black color too. So let's name that hair and enter that. Okay, let's get onto his skin now, which is one of the last bits. So selection tool selected. Let's just go over and make sure he's all selected everywhere. Okay. As I was saying, you can use your pen tool or whichever way you want to make the selection. I'm just doing the quick mask just to speed things up. A quick mask, quick selection, sorry. Okay, that's his neck done. And we want to do his hand as well. So let's just finish around there. Let's go down to his hand. And you can see he has two hands. One is my grand's. And one is his, so let's just select his. Okay. So we want to make sure that we don't get any of her hand in because she's got a white glove on. It's quite difficult with the precision of this because it's not great quality, but it does the job. Okay, so that's his hand done. Let's go back up and see. Sometimes when you do selections, it seems to mess the other parts up. But that looks good. Let's just get rid of that part. Okay, Control and 0 to zoom out. And you want to create a new solid layer, solid color layer. And this is where you have to play around quite a bit um, with the colors. Generally, an orangish color works well. We'll just go in and do that. Right, I'm just going to zoom in again here. Sorry. Pan in. Okay, so remember I was saying you can either use color or overlay. I'm going to use color for this one just to see how it works. And overlay. So we don't want to use overlay. Let's go to color. And we need to adjust that a lot. Okay, but you are going to be going and changing the opacity. That's a nice brown color. Okay, let's use that color. So it's C, uh, 7C4B04 and hit OK. So that's under color mode and let's change the opacity quite a bit. I'm going to change it to, let's play around. 20, 25, 25 looks good. You don't want it to be too bright because don't forget this is an old photo. You want it to blend in quite a bit. Okay. I forgot to save that selection again. My bad. Okay, so that is skin. Okay. Now let's do shoes. Same as before. We're going to be using levels because it's black. Yeah. Not, his shoes aren't touching there, so you've just got to check that quite carefully. Okay, and then we're going to levels, and the darker color is because it's the black, and that looks about right. 
You can change the opacity of the levels layers as well. Uh, just to blend it a bit more if you want. Change the opacity, bring it down. Okay, so that's the shoes. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to select all these layers. Select in the top one and then shift click in the bottom one. Select them all. Control and G to form a group. And I'm going to call that group the groom because he is pretty much complete. Okay, so that's part one of this tutorial. I'm going to create another tutorial for the rest with the selections already saved just to speed things along a bit because as you can see it takes quite a long time. Here is the before and here is the after. Very cool. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the follow on part two. Thank you.